So yesterday, the president, uh, Kaylee, uh, was a, uh, tweeted out that this Buffalo protester, the 75-year-old who was shoved to the ground by a police officer, might have been part of Antifa and a provocateur in order to get that type of reaction, just to paraphrase. Could you expand on that? Does the president think that this, this guy is part of Antifa? So the president was raising questions based on a report that he saw. Uh, there are questions that need to be asked. In every case, we can't jump on one side uh, without looking at all the facts at play. This individual had some very questionable tweets, some profanity-laden tweets um, about police officers. Of course, no one condones any sort of violence. We need the appropriate amount of force used in any interaction. But there are a lot of questions in that case. In fact, you had 56 police officers who resigned in protest of how their fellow officers officers were treated. Um, so I think we need to ask why those officers resigned, what happened, what facts were on the ground, um, and the president was just raising some of those questions. And Kaylee, what about the timing of it in the middle of the George Floyd ceremonies and the last of which a series of, of, uh, of long goodbyes for George Floyd and all the unrest in the country? Was, do you think the timing was right? Look, the president has acknowledged so many times, and rightfully so, the injustice with George Floyd. He was uh, v upset when he saw that video. As I noted, he gave an entire speech um, about Mr. Floyd and the grave injustice there. Um, but the president was raising some questions, some legitimate ones, about that particular interaction, and it's his prerogative to do so. Kaylee, I was just uh, I was just thinking I'd, I'd like to go back on topic for just a second to uh, 